So one of the really cool reasons why I still don't mind dealing happened today. Good morning everybody. Welcome to today's vlog. Today is the last day of August. August 31st, 2017. It is around 9 o'clock. Um, I've been up for about two hours now. Packing a few things that I sold on eBay yesterday. And now I've been spending the last like hour um, right here. I don't know if you see it. Working on this inventory right here. This is the fourth box right here. I got more of these knives again, as you see here. So right now I'm just, I am actually in the process of sorting them out because these are the ones that are not in like individual boxes. So I'm sorting out the inventory right now. And then some of the stuff is already listed. So I'm gonna add the quantity uh, to the list, the existing listing if I already have it. And then whatever's left, I'll just create a listing for it. And then um, today is uh, Thursday. So it is actually my Friday. Um, Labor Day weekend, it's, it's, uh, it's here. I can't believe nine months have passed. But um, this weekend's gonna be interesting because of the craziness of, of last weekend and um, getting ready for that big, uh, the, getting ready for the fight party. We really have time to just kind of relax. So me and my wife were talking last night. I think we're just gonna chill out this weekend. Um, she wants to go see a movie, so we'll probably do that. Um, go out to a nice dinner, just me and her, a little date night action, just me and her. And generally just chilling. Um, probably do some thrifting, probably tomorrow, tomorrow's Friday, so I'll probably do that then. But yeah, today's just going to be a day where I just continue doing that eBay stuff, and then uh, go to be Mr. Poker Dealer Guy for one more day this week, and then come home and um, pretty much be to ourselves this weekend. Nothing major right now. Is going to happen for us. So yeah, let's do it. Another day, last day of August. Let's make it a good one. Got a lot done this morning. Here are some of the knives. More of the stuff that I put on eBay just now. Stuff over there. I got stuff over there. I still got to go through this stuff over there. Unfortunately, though, your boy has to go to work. I have to go to work. Give me Mr. Poker to the guy. But first, I got to stop at the post office. Oh, I'm, I, I, I like I like have all this momentum right now. I, I want to stay finish this today, but I, I can't because of that pesky thing, that job thing keeps getting in the way. <laughs> so let me just uh, yeah get ready, head to work, and then come back and maybe work on it some more. But it's the weekend, boys, and like I said earlier, I plan on chilling out. So this may be pretty much. What I'll be doing all weekend is a little or lots of eBay action. So here I am at work, last day of the week. There it is. You put the camera focus. There it is. There's the strip, part of the strip. And I just spend the last, like, uh, the whole time driving to work thinking about the eBay business. Thinking about, like, the next. I'm always, like, thinking about the next step. You know, it's weird because I always jump from different, my thoughts always jump from one week to another. And right now it's eBay, 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 eBay. So I'm thinking about what's gonna happen, what's going on. Because today is the last day of August, tomorrow is September 1st, which is the important fourth quarter of the business cycle, which is the, usually the busiest time of the year because of Christmas coming up. So I'm trying to just thinking about how I'm gonna get, what kind of inventory I should get next, what should I get next, where should I go, how should I go about getting it. You know, different things like state sales, garage sales, you know, and uh, different other avenues. Because I really want to crank, I'm really cranking this up big. And, you know, trying to balance, you know, work and then my family life, and then try to get back to the gym, and then try to eat better. It's a lot on my plate, and, but I, I love it. I mean, I love my life, I love everything about it. I love thinking about it. You know, I'm always trying to be better in my life situation, and my family situation, and I think I, I'm trying to make decisions now that will affect uh, my life later on, and that's pretty much what 
you know, my, my, my mentality is about this eBay is to make my life better than it is. And my life is good now, but it can always be better. Believe me, it can always be better. Anyways, that's enough rambling. My car is getting hot. I gotta go downstairs and work on this trip and be Mr. Poker Dealer Guy one more time. And probably think about the business a lot more when I'm down there. So, yeah. <sighs> All right, guys, it is done. The week of work is done. I'm gonna head out to home. I'm gonna head home now, start my weekend. I'm gonna be sitting my butt on a couch pretty much all weekend. Although, I didn't think about it. We have a, uh, I belong to this fantasy football league. So we have our draft on Saturday. But other than that, and other than eBay, your boy is gonna be resting on a couch all weekend. Oh yeah. So ends one of the slowest months of the year of poker. It was really slow. It was just, it was tough. I mean, games were breaking all the time. We were opening games, breaking games. It was tough. But something happened today that made me really still, even though I talk about trying to leave it and doing something different and doing eBay for a living and getting my time back, something happened today that made me know why I still, I still like dealing cards. I still like dealing poker. But we had this guy. He's, um... He plays in a room, he comes from, I think he's from Kentucky, I think. Anyways, he comes to, he plays in a room maybe three or four times a year. He's, he's uh, a little bit of, he's, he's, he's a little bit on the obnoxious side, <laughs> but in a good way. He's like, well, I don't know how he can be good obnoxious, but he's obnoxious. I have no issues with the guy. The guy is, he's actually really cool. He's always been cool to me, but he's really, really obnoxious. Anyways, I was standing near um, the front of the poker room. And he was sitting in a game where it was kind of short-handed. I think it was like five-handed. And he was trying, he was like yelling, trying to get anybody that walks by the poker room to play in the game. Seat open, seat open, seat open, seat open. Anyways, he, 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 he uh, looked at me and goes, um, Hey, get in this game, get in this game, come on. Have a seat right here and play. And I was like, well, we're not allowed to play. And he was like, oh, you can play, you can play, all we'll let you play. And I... That's when I started making some jokes to him. I was like, you don't want me to play because I'm actually a better player than I am a dealer. And I'm a pretty good dealer. You know, just to kind of egg him on. And he was like, oh, no. Oh, no. And then he said, um, he was funny. He goes, I don't know how to interpret that, but I would do anything to sit in a bunch of games with a bunch of dealers. <laughs> right? That's the, they, all, they all think us poker dealers are all a bunch of, like, bad players, which a lot of them are, a lot of us are, but I'm a pretty good, damn good player. Anyways, after he said that, I said, well, you never played me. <laughs> and like, oh, and he was like, oh, so then he did the, the old, let's play heads up, blah, 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 let's play heads up. I'll play for any amount of money. And I was like, well, I can't play here. And he was like, oh, let's go, let's go to another casino. I'll play heads up. And I, and I, he was going on, and I go, I'll play you. And, I, and I, of course, I, I, was, I was still kneeling him. And I said, well, okay, we'll, we'll play heads up. I'll even give you the button, two out of three hands. <laughs> and, he goes, and he goes, oh, so I got him really rattled up. And then he goes, I'll play heads up with you, and I'll play, I'll play against your entire net worth. He said that. And I just laughed and laughed. And it was like good ribbon, good fun. It was, there was nothing malicious about it. It was just me having a little fun with one of our uh, customers. And he, he, he got it. He wasn't even upset. He was actually laughing at the end. So, and it just, uh, what it proves is sometimes you can have a little fun with this customer. You can have, you can you egg them on, you can deal a little bit. And, they can, and they'll take it and they'll give it back to you. But, I'll, but. If they give it back to you, you have to be willing to take it, right? So I gave it back to him. He gave it back to me. We gave it back and forth. It was like a, like a tennis match. It was volleying back and forth. And it was just funny. I laughed, and it was just it was just so cool. It's so weird because he's actually not really a, a loose player. He's actually a pretty tight player. He's, he's a very good player. I'll admit he's a very, very, very good player. He's just a little tight. So if I played him heads up, I could probably beat him. I probably... <laughs> I mean, shit. I'm not... I, 
I'm pretty good. I have a lot of confidence in my poker skills. But just the fact that it went back and forth and he was he, he was giving it to me, I was giving it to him, it was just, it was just fun. And you know, when you have stuff like that when it's slow and you have a little fun banter with a customer like that, it makes coming to work that much fun. Because where else can you do something like that, right? Where else, what kind of industry would you do that we have, you can have fun with a customer like that, you know? You know, may tease him a little bit, you know, needle him a little bit. Only in poker, guys. Only in poker. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that little story from today. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to head home and start my weekend and just chill and have a little fun. So I'm up at my loft right now, just chilling out. Got the butt to turned on the old WSOP.com poker to play a little online one cent two cent no limit just to uh, kill the day tonight and it's the end of August everybody the, the end of August and it was a pretty good month starting with my vacation at the beginning which I still haven't edited yet I will edit it and put it up as soon as I can I'm just trying to find the right time to put it up and pretty much just chilling out you know enjoying my relaxing time it's like, what, 9.40 in the p.m. I'm feeling a little tired. I probably should get a beer or something. You know, a nice cold beer being good right now. <sighs> to celebrate another month. As tomorrow we turn the page from August and into September. And keep going on and on. So anyways, I'm in the vlog right here. You guys have a good night. Comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll talk to you tomorrow for another day of Ronnie Bizzle TV.